I think it's very important to archive everybody's work because it becomes a chronicle. In, in, in a sense, it becomes part of the history of, of, our, of our work, of what, how we've presented uh, the, the, you know, the, the, the stories, the news of the day. I think, I think it's, a, it's a history of our, of our nation. Over 22 years, that's a lot of work. But I was especially, and still am, especially proud of the role I played in covering 9-11. 9-11 as it happened, and then a year later I went to New York for the first anniversary and broadcast from there for a week. And I was very proud of that. I was pati I'm particularly proud of those two broadcasts. I think I used all my skills in covering 9-11 the day it happened. All, all, all Everything I'd learned over all those years from the beginning, my beginnings in radio in, in country New South Wales, right to that day, I think we had to use all those skills. I think technology is, is, is just overwhelming and the impact it's had on journalism and news reporting is just extraordinary. I, I can't keep up with it anymore. I remember in 1983 when we covered the, when I was on the Today program and we covered the America's Cup, we did it with a magnets on a blackboard and a phone line to Newport, Rhode Island, if in fact we could get the line through. Now today, they're using satellites, they're using drones, they're using mobile cameras, the equipment is becoming more sophisticated, it is becoming more compact. I, I just don't know where it's going to end. There are two ways of doing a good interview. I always remember, and he had a lot of critics, but I remember Larry King saying once that he went into an interview with the first question, and that was all. And, and, and I, I used to think I'd love to be able to do that, but I was scared. So the secret to a good interview from my perspective was, whilst I'd like to have gone into the interview with one question, listened, and just let the interview take its own direction, I always went in with 10 or 20 questions because I dreaded the interviewee who became yes, no, 